Welcome to ACS Composite. My name is Jonathan. I'm going to be showing you the C7 Coupe waterfall storage compartment for Stingray, Grand Sports, Z06s and ZR1s, provided they are the Coupe model. This is going to store any of your travel documents that you might not want to put in the rear of your car or even some detailing products that you want quick access to, or really anything you really want in your car. It's got a nice felt liner in the inside, so it's going to dampen on the noise while you're traveling. It's also going to cut down on the cockpit noise as well. It is fully functional with your target top, so once you remove your target top and put it in the rear, there is a feature for it to go in behind the waterfall. It is available in all C7 body colors and also in a primer finish if you choose to paint it yourself or even maybe put a wrap on it. We have the optional emblem that you can have in either a chrome finish or a carbon flash black finish to match whichever color you may have on the exterior emblems. Finally, we also two-tone the rear of the waterfall with a nice textured black finish, so it's gonna really blend in with the, the exterior trunk portion of your Corvette. And just to show you the compartments itself, they are two access doors, one behind the passenger, one behind the driver's side, and they do connect to the entire storage thing, so whether you put it in the back, you can still access it onto the other side as well. Finally, just to talk about uh, this, this little features and design features on the waterfall, these two line here are lines are integrated into the waterfall do match the roof of your, your Corvette, so you'll notice the two lines match this, as well as the humps on the top here, they are matching the uh, behind your driver's seat, and it looks quite nice once installed. So let's now go into the installation of the waterfall. So we're about to get started with the install. How we installed the waterfall storage compartment is we actually use the two latches, we unbolt it, and then we're gonna bolt the storage compartment down. Um, there's other products that you can simply sit on the hump of the, the behind your seats. Uh, the unfortunate part about that one is they're not bolted down, so if you're going relatively fast and you need to brake quickly, you're gonna get a lot of movement in your in your storage compartment. Ours uh, is not gonna have that issue. It's gonna be nice and secured, so you don't have to worry about it flying around. So you're gonna identify the two hooks in the rear cargo. I'm using a trim tool here. All you really gotta do is get down into the little cover and then push up on it, and it comes out really easily like that. There's a T40 screw here, so I'm gonna come in and remove that. Now we're gonna give you new hardware to replace this one. Because the OEM ones are not long enough to secure them. Here's the hardware we do give you. That's what's gonna be going in place and there's gonna be a backing plate that's gonna go inside just to make sure it's really secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other side and then get the waterfall compartment inside. Okay, so now we have the waterfall compartment inside the trunk. You can't go straight in, you need to angle it about 45 degrees to get it in. So the easiest way is to come from the side and just start, as you get near to your max here, you're gonna come to the side and just lift it over the hump and then just simply slide it into place like so. So now it's locked into that hump over there and uh, we're gonna go to the front of the car so we can reach in and then bolt it down. All right, so now once you put it in the car, it might be slightly off position. You wanna use the center as you're locating to know exactly where it wants to be. So I'm just pushing it a little bit over to get it in the center. And then obviously you wanna make sure that the holes are gonna find locate the holes in the back. And so this one looks like it is in position now. So now we're just gonna put the backing plate over the hole and then put the screw through. Okay, so now we have it installed and I'm inside the cockpit of the Corvette. Just to show you that it, the storage compartment is still accessible while you're driving, obviously while it makes it a little more challenging while you're moving, but if you're stopped and you can just simply pull back your chair or you can still reach in. So I have a bottle of detailing with a microfiber and you can still get in the back here and just sort of leave it in there. Or your passenger could also throw something on the, behind you as well. Um, just move the seat forward though, it makes it even more easier.